For Action News, I'm Anna Delosky. Action's Dr. Josh Bloom and Dr. Henry Miller of the Hoover Institution took on a rather controversial topic in the pharmaceutical world, the so-called Me Too drugs. Yet this derisive term is anything but. It's true that some copycat drugs offer no more than their predecessors, but in many cases, the new and improved cocktail drugs are in fact much more effective in treating a specific infection. This concept has led to the cure of hepatitis C, one of the most important viral infections on Earth. Aksha's Dr. Josh Bloom explains. Hepatitis C was an unknown pathogen 25 years ago, and the science progressed from identifying it, learning how to inhibit it, and then absolutely pothole-filled pathway to get from that to actual cures. And it was a torturous path with all kinds of casualties along the way, including the companies that actually succeeded and did the pioneering work. What this shows is that just because you're first doesn't mean you're going to succeed. And there are three companies that learned this the hard way. It also tells you that if you're fourth, maybe you're going to succeed. And there's one company that is doing exactly that, but it's only because of the failures of the first three companies. So if you want to call number four a Me Too drug, call it a Me Too drug, but it's also a drug that cures hepatitis C. Me Too drugs do exist. There are cases where companies chase after a market, really very little innovation or any benefit to patients. So this does happen, but you can't lump that in with the sequential development of similar compounds over a period of time where information is used based on earlier work to develop something that does work. The latest and most effective hepatitis C drug cocktail, Savaldi, comes with a pricey tag at $1,000 per pill, roughly $84,000 for the entire treatment. It has garnered some criticism, but Dr. Bloom, like many others, say the price is well worth it. To read the entire Forbes op-ed, you can head to our website, aksha.org, and while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Delosky.